Hello, this is Mayor David Cassetti, and I'm here to talk to you about the proposal to sell Ansonia's sewer treatment plant to the Aquarian Water Company. I know many of our residents have questions about the sale and what it would mean for our city and its taxpayers. As mayor, I want to ensure your questions are answered so you can understand why I am supporting this sale for the good of Ansonia and its future. What would be sold? First, it's important to understand that the city is looking to sell the sewer treatment plant and the entire sewer system currently being operated through the Ansonia's Water Pollution Control Authority. This covers everything from care of the plant itself to the 372,000 feet of underground sanitary sewer pipes to the collection of fees from our residents. When the sale is made, the city will no longer be in the sewer treatment business. Instead, it will be a private operation run and maintained by Aquarian Water. Why is the city selling? This is perhaps the most frequently asked question I get about the proposed sale, and it's also the most important. To put it simply, the city is looking to achieve two goals with the sale, a better sewer system, protect residents and ratepayers by ensuring the highest quality water treatment facility at the lowest possible rate. A better city, protect the overall interest of the city by keeping the property tax rate low and freeing resources for important investments in education and infrastructure. Let's look at these considerations one at a time. And to help with the analysis, I want to turn it over to my budget director, Kurt Miller. Thanks, Mayor. This is Kurt Miller, Budget Director for the City of Ansonia. Over my four years with the city, I've been charged with reviewing all the financial aspects of the city and making recommendations to the Mayor and to the Board of Aldermen about ways to continue to move the city forward. They have asked me to look at all aspects of the city that affect not only our residents, but our students, as well as our infrastructure and all of the services that we provide. One of the areas of greatest concern for me is the concern with the increasing costs of running the WPCA facility, but more important, the cost of the potential exposure that we have for things that we can't see under the ground. It is for these reasons that I'm recommending the sale of the WPCA plant to Aquarian Water Company. Aquarian Water Company is a large public water supply company with over 370 employees based in Bridgeport, Connecticut that serves over 750,000 people in 72 towns and cities in Connecticut, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and is overseen by the state regulator, Pura. Aquarian Water has proposed a $56 million investment in Ansonia, $41 million to purchase the sewer system, plus a commitment of a minimum of $15 million for capital improvements during the first five years. But let's take a more specific look to see how this breaks down. Out of the overall sale proceeds, $14 million will be used to fully pay off all of the outstanding WPCA debt. That would leave the city with $30.5 million to put towards its city departments, projects, and rainy day fund for the future which will ensure lower property taxes going forward for all of our residents. The proposal also calls for the existing $7 million of the WPCA's cash on hand to be utilized for rate stabilization to keep the rate at $41 a month for the first two years and ensuring rates are as low as possible for years to come in the future. And again, Aquarium will be committed to investing over $15 million in our treatment plant and collection systems to ensure Ansonia systems will be the best in the Valley. But why does this deal make sense? Again, for the betterment of both sewer system and our city. First, it's important to realize that the costs of running the WPCA plant are constantly rising. If the city does not sell to Aquarium, it's going to need to start to prepare to make substantial investment in the plant, which is going to increase costs tremendously to all of our ratepayers. Specifically, at least $450,000 more will be needed in operating expenses. This includes three additional employees 
inclusive of overhead and benefits. As you likely know, the WPCA is already operating under state required staffing requirements. So the additional hires will be needed to be added as soon as possible. Another $7 million will be needed for capital improvements, including the repair of broken and aged equipment. Moreover, the use of the existing WPCA fund balance will require additional payments of annual debt service. But that's not all. An estimated $8 million will be needed to upgrade our collection system as this will contribute to the rising annual debt service payments. And of course, all of this says nothing about being surprised by a break in our aging lines. The last time we had a major break, if you recall, it cost the city and the WPCA over a million dollars in one weekend. We therefore would need to continue to maintain a reserve for these occurrences. That's an overall projected multi-million dollar increase to the WPCA budget. This would require a whopping 150% rate increase. While everyone would like to see our sewer rates remain as low as possible, going forward, the city simply does not have the resources necessary to be able to continue to upgrade the plant and keep our rates stable. This raises the question, is the small, economically distressed city of Ansonia really in the best position to operate a sewer treatment system? Or can the city transfer the obligation to provide the service to a larger, local private company with more resources and that provides its services as its core operation 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is exactly what led the city to explore this sale. An Aquarius proposal suggests that we're correct to explore such a plan. The sale would take care of all of the needed upgrades and investments with Aquarian investing over $15 million to cover capital, staffing, and collection upgrades. Additionally, it takes all of the unknown liabilities waiting for us underground off the city's hands. But at what price? Is Aquarian really able to operate more cost effectively than the city? Let's do a rate comparison. So for the first five year period following the sale, the Aquarian sale will save the average rate payer at least $1,650 and the freedom from maintaining a savings account to cover surprise repairs and upgrades. Ratepayers will know exactly what to expect for the next five years. But what about after the five-year stabilization period? Well, history shows that Aquarian has historically been good at managing rates, even beating out the rate of inflation. But that's not the only benefit that the sale will bring. Unlocking this $30.5 million dollars will allow the city to invest in many essential items, things like capital infrastructure, our schools, but most importantly, beefing up our rainy day fund to prepare the city for long, strong financial security. And that is important, considering that many of our neighboring communities are drowning in taxes under the same financial stress Ansonia is under. Here's a comparison. Without realizing the revenue generated by the sale to Aquarian, Ansonia will also need to boost its budget to make investments in services, like the Board of Education, which is asking for over a 5% increase this year, and also to make responsible contributions to its fund balance. To meet all of these objectives, Ansonia's budget would need to increase by approximately six to seven mils in fiscal 24-25. The alternative to this result would be to pursue layoffs at an already understaffed city or to cut city services. But the Aquarian sales offer a better alternative, allowing us to keep taxes relatively stable and still vastly lower than other communities while funding all of our vital services. But the sale also allows us to leverage the sale funds for the long-term good of the city. For example, Here's a proposed use of the proceeds. At the end of the day, it's my professional opinion that the sale of the WPCA to Aquarian Water would be the best decision for the long-term interests of the residents of the city of Ansonia. Not only would it allow us to stabilize the rates for our sewer services, 
but most importantly, it will continue to allow us to stabilize taxes to help to build a stronger, better Ansonia. Thanks, Kurt. Now I want to address some of the important questions I've heard. What will happen to WPCA employees? I want to assure the residents of Ansonia that we will not be cutting any positions. These jobs will be protected via staying with Public Works or going to work for Aquarian Water Company. Can Aquarian add fees or rates beyond the fee schedule? No. Aquarian will be bound by the agreement and also regulated by Pura, which must approve any and all rate increases. There will be no additional fees or costs to ratepayers. If the special project assessment was paid off, shouldn't the rate be going down? Unfortunately, it takes $4 million to run this. That includes the fee and the assessment. Plus, as Kurt explained, the plant requires millions of dollars in reinvestment to operate properly. This is exactly what our challenge is. How can our system run properly at the least cost to our rate and taxpayers? As your mayor, I am recommending this sale for the good of the city and the sewer system. Thank you and have a good day.